Hello. Warm weather is on its way, but how long is it going to last and how hot is it going to get? Thanks for joining me for your latest Met Office 10 day trend. Starting off looking at the picture at the moment, and we do have a jet stream running across the UK, which is why there is some changeable, unsettled weather around. But that jet stream is going to push its way northwards as we go into the weekend, and it's this that's going to allow for some hot air to come in from the south. But more on that later. At the moment, across southern areas, we do have high pressure building, and that's going to lead to the weather across southern parts quietening down somewhat. Further north, a different story. Quite an unchangeable uncha picture here with various low pressure systems and frontal systems making their way in. As we go through Thursday, we have a spell of wet weather pushing its way in across western, northwestern parts of the UK. Some heavy totals building up, particularly across western parts of Scotland, northwest England, perhaps 30 to 40 millimetres of rain over the whole day or so. So not enough to cause any major problems, but it is going to be a pretty wet picture. And quite windy, particularly towards the northwest of the UK as well. Across more south southeastern parts, there'll be a fair bit of cloud around at times, perhaps some high level clouds, so the sunshine could be a bit hazy, but on the whole it is going to be largely dry and temperatures here near normal for the time of year. Uh, there is then going to be a quieter spell as we go through later Thursday before another system pushes its way in as we go into Friday. All the time across northern parts we have low pressure never too far away, but high pressure across southern parts of the UK will be dominating the picture here, which is why it is going to be largely dry and largely settled. But looking at the details for Friday, more wet weather then pushing its way in from the west, particularly affecting high ground in the west of Scotland. That's where we're most likely to see the totals building up as as we go through Friday, though there will be some further rain spreading its way eastwards as we go through the day. Elsewhere across other parts of the UK, particularly England and Wales, it's actually looking like a fine picture. Yes, again, there'll be some high level clouds, so the sunshine may be quite milky or hazy, but there will be some decent bright sunny weather and temperatures starting to climb, so likely to get highs of around 22, possibly even 23 Celsius. As we go into the weekend and we stay with frontal systems trailing across northern parts of the UK, particularly across Scotland, but the jet stream, as I mentioned before, does push its way northwards and that does a few things. So it does allow for some warmer air to push its way up from the south, which is why temperatures are going to rise. I'll come on to those in a second. But interestingly, it also causes quite a tight pressure gradient in line with this front between the colder air to the north of the UK and the warmer air that's pushing its way across much of the country. And because of this pressure gradient, we're likely to see this frontal system, this front energizing and getting a bit more activity behind it. I'll come on to that in a second. As we go through the latter part of the weekend, that frontal system does push its way northwards, so more dry, fine weather across the bulk of the UK, and we're going to continue to drag in some warm air from the south because we're on the warmer southern side of that jet stream, so temperatures likely to rise even further. Quick look at our temperatures, and this chart shows our partial thicknesses. So by thicknesses, we mean the, the length, the depth of the air near the surface. This is our 1,000 to 850 hectopascal thickness, hectopascals, millibars, they're all the same thing. And when it comes to 1,000, that's the hectopascals, the pressure near the surface, and 850 is about 5,000 feet up. So these thicknesses are showing the distance between the surface and the 850 hectopascal line. Now, Alex Deacon has a better explainer on what partial thickness is if you caught his deep dive yesterday from Tuesday 3rd of October. So worth checking that out if you want a better understanding of what thicknesses are. Skip to 12 minutes if you're looking for that. But what it means is the greater the thickness, the warmer the air. Warmer air takes up more space, and so that's why it is a great, greater thickness. You can see as we go through Fridays under the, across the UK, we have yellows and greens. So not particularly high thickness, but as the oranges start to push their way in from the south as we go through Saturday, the thickness is getting greater. That means warmer air is pushing its way in across the UK. By Sunday, we're getting some red, so we could be looking at partial thickness above 140, and that is going to be some pretty warm air indeed and we continue with that warm air particularly across southeastern parts as we go into Monday. So that's just illustrating that we do have some warm air coming in across the UK which is why temperatures are going to rise. Looking at the details for Saturday, and as I mentioned before, because of the temperature gradient across the uh, UK, across that front in the north, it is going to become a bit more active. And so whilst on Friday, the heaviest rain is likely to be tied in with orography, as in it will be over the hills, the mountains, particularly across western parts of Scotland, 
because the front's going to have a bit more energy behind it, I'm expecting the rain on Saturday, particularly the heavy rain, to become a bit more widespread. So more parts of Scotland at risk of seeing some heavy rain. That being said, I do still think the heaviest rain will be across the Western Highlands, the high ground towards the West. That's where we're going to see the highest totals building up. Elsewhere across the rest of the UK, Saturday actually looks like a fine and largely sunny day. There may be some mist and fog around first thing, but by the time we get to the afternoon, plenty of sunshine and temperatures getting to highs of around 25 Celsius, so unusually warm for the time of year. A quick look at the rain then that we have on Saturday, and we do have a warning out. It's all the way at time of recording, valid from midday on Friday through the whole of Saturday. And that's because we could see, even at low-lying areas, totals of around 30 to 50 millimetres over the high ground, perhaps up to 100 millimetres, or around the Western Highlands, we could see 100 to 150 millimetres of rain building up. That's a substantial amount coming in just 36 hours or so. As a result, there could be some localised flooding and also some disruption to travel that heavy rain could cause some spray on the road, so do take care if you're heading out. I thought I'd also look at rainfall totals comparing different models. So on the left-hand side, I have the Met Office model in the middle. It's the European, the ECMWF model. And on the right-hand side, you've got the American model, the GFS. And they're in fairly good agreement for where we're going to see the heaviest totals. These are 48-hour rainfall totals all the way through Friday and Saturday. And you can see it's highlighting particularly the Western Highlands, Western parts of Scotland in the Met Office model. That's where we're most likely to get those high totals. Notice the ECMWF model has the rain a little bit further north, the heaviest rain affecting more north northwestern parts of Scotland, but generally in the similar position. And then GFS resolution not as great. Um, as a result, it doesn't have quite the highest totals, but it's in a similar position uh, to the Met Office model, perhaps a little bit further east, but that's partly down to the resolution rather than it's where it's actually think the, thinks the heaviest rain is going to be. But what you can see is, yes, it, there's pretty good, good agreement that we're going to have a pretty wet period as we go through Friday into Saturday for a good chunk of Scotland. Looking ahead to Sunday then, and like I said, the frontal system pushes its way northwards as the jet stream makes its way northwards as well. And so on Sunday, across pretty much the whole of the UK, Shetland uh, not included, it is going to be a largely fine settled day. Plenty of sunshine, particularly towards the south, though a little bit cloudier further north, lingering cloud across parts of Scotland. But even still, it's going to be drier and brighter than it will have been on Saturday. And look at those temperatures, even higher than on Saturday, highs of around 26 possibly even 27 Celsius. Means it's likely to be the warmest October day since 2018. Could well be the warmest October day since 2011 when we reached the highest October temperature on record. I don't think the record's going to get broken, but nonetheless, it is going to be unusually warm for the time of year. Now, sometimes we do issue uh, heat alerts at this time, well, when we have hot periods, but because of the time of the year and because the nights are quite long, days are shorter than uh, when it was happening during the summer months, I'm not expecting the heat to be as impactful because we are going to get some fresher nights coming up in association with those very warm days. And it's usually during the nights that people are imp who are impacted by the heat really suffer most. So really, we're entering a period of, for many people's point of view, a pleasant spell with some warm temperatures or some high temperatures, temperatures a little bit above average, but at least it should still be quite comfortable for sleeping. A quick recap then as we go through this weekend, and it is going to be a wet picture then across uh, northern areas as we go through Friday into Saturday, but that heavy rain should clear its way northwards with dry weather in the south becoming more dominant and widespread as we go through Sunday, and we have some very warm weather, some high temperatures unusually warm for the time of year. But this is the 10 day trend, so let's head on to next week. As we go through Monday, that frontal system, that same trailing, lingering front that brought heavy rain earlier on in the weekend will start to make its way a little bit further southwards as we go through Monday. Still holding on to high pressure across southern areas, so that warmth is likely to continue here. But yes, we are gradually, as we go through next week, going to see a progression of this frontal system to push its way southwards. And this brings two things. Yes, a spell of something wet, but also that cooler air that's across northern areas is then going to start to dip its way southwards. So we should start to see temperatures drop in. However, there is quite a bit of uncertainty regarding this. The Met Office model is a little bit quicker with the progression of this front southwards compared to the ECMWF, the European model. The Met Office model wants to bring it in around Wednesday time reaching southern areas, whereas the ECMWF model is about a day later, and that plays a part in how wet it's going to be and how long the warmth in the south is going to last. 
But let's look at our pressure probabilistic trend. You may have seen this chart before, but in case you haven't, we start with most recent model runs up in the uh, top and going back in time in terms of our model runs as we go downwards. And the, this chart shows most likely pressure trend with the reds highlighting that high pressure is most likely and the blues highlighting that low pressure is more likely. And what we have at the moment through Wednesday, Thursday, high pressure is very likely. Now you may be saying, but Alex, you just told me that we have low pressure across northern parts of the UK at the moment. And whilst that's true, still compared to average, the pressure is actually a little bit above. And when you look at the UK as a whole, because of the ridge of high pressure across southern areas at the moment, the pressure is still above average for the time of year. And we have very high confidence in that because it's happening at the moment. A slight dip in confidence as we go through Friday, but still very high confidence for Saturday, Sunday, that we're going to have generally high pressure across the UK, which is why we're fairly confident about those high temperatures, that warmth that's coming its way in. But then confidence really drops after Monday. You'll notice we change from the reds to the blues as we go towards the end of the week, and confidence isn't particularly high anyway on that happening, but likely to see something uh, a bit more changeable developing. We can also see that if we look at ECMWF data, and this is our pressure anomaly map with the, the greens, the bluey greens highlighting where it's likely to be lower pressure than average, and then the, the pinkies, purples, highlighting where it's likely to be higher than average pressure. And this is for the whole of next week, starting on Monday, the 9th of October. And this highlights that towards the northeast of the UK, slightly lower than average pressure is more likely. And towards the west of the UK, slightly higher than average pressure is more likely. Now, if we try to show this in terms of rainfall, and if I show you the same chart, but for precipitation anomaly, and again, you can see that northeast, south, southwest split with more northeastern parts likely to have a bit more rain than normal for the time of year, uh, whereas towards the west, southwest, it's likely to be a little bit drier for the time of year. Across the rest of the UK, in between, it looks near normal in terms of rainfall amounts. And it's worth, when you look at this, bearing in mind this is the anomaly compared to average, and southeastern parts are generally drier than more west and southwestern areas. And so although this is highlighting in the west, southwest, it's likely to be a little bit drier than average, that doesn't mean it's going to be drier than further southeast. We're just comparing to average in this chart. Then going through the rest of the week, I also wanted to look at some plumes. Now this is the plume for Glasgow. And what you can see, uh, the top chart shows us our temperature plume, but we're looking at the 850 hectopascal, so around 5,000 feet up. So not at the surface, but slightly higher up in the atmosphere. It does play a huge part in what happens at the surface, but it shows the warmer air. So what you can see as we go through the rest of this week, you can see temperatures rising as the uh, 850 hectopascal temperature lifts and rises up. And so peaking around Saturday, Sunday time, so that warm is going to be relatively widespread. And then there's a gradual downward trend. Quite a lot of spread, so fair bit of uncertainty as to how quickly that downward trend is going to happen. But it does look like we're going to see something a bit cooler coming in uh, from the north as we go through next week. Also looking at the precipitation, so rainfall amounts, you can see some rain through Wednesday, Thursday, peaking Friday into Saturday, which is why we have that warning in force, could see some high totals then. And then some more changeable weather, but there's quite a lot of spread. I wouldn't take this too literally at this stage. I think it's more interesting if we look at the same charts, but for Reading, a little bit further south. And here you can see, again, temperatures cr climbing as we go towards the weekend, peaking around Saturday, Sunday time. That's when we're most likely to see temperatures in the south getting to the mid-20s, perhaps even a little bit higher. And then we hold on to that warmth uh, uh, well into next week. And the deterministic model from the ECMWF, as you can see, holds on to that warmth well into Wednesday and then doesn't drop down until Thursday. Like I said before, the ECMWF model is a little bit slower, bringing the change to something a bit more unsettled, a bit cooler compared to the Met Office model, which would have this dip more happening around Wednesday time. But nonetheless, it does show that we are likely to see a change to something a bit cooler as we go from the middle part of the week onwards, but it might not last particularly long. That same system that pushes its way southwards as we go through the middle part of the week is then likely to return northwards again. So we could see temperatures picking up again a bit towards uh, the following weekend, albeit not quite as high as coming up this weekend. We can also see it's a generally dry picture when we look at the precipitation chart for Reading uh, up until we get to about Wednesday, Thursday time when that front might put or should or is likely to push its way southwards and could bring a spell of rain then. 
So just to recap, as we go through next week, we have generally fine weather to start, particularly Sunday, and then Monday, particularly for southern areas, starting fine, but could start to see things turning a bit more unsettled as that system pushes its way southwards. And although we're going to start the week on a pretty warm note, unusually warm, we are likely to see temperatures dropping off. Exactly when that happens, how quickly it happens, and how far that cooler air pushes southwards, there is quite a lot of uncertainty at this stage. We can highlight that just with one final chart before I go. And you can see this is our confidence chart. That the dashed line shows our usual confidence in our forecasts. And you can see, as you would expect, it drops off as we go further into the future, whereas the shaded red area shows our actual confidence in the current forecast. And you can see it is generally below average for the time of year. Around Saturday time, it's near normal. And so there's relatively good confidence in uh, that north-south split that I showed you earlier and the warmth pushing up from the south. But as we go through next week, there is slightly below average confidence in the forecast. So the detail as to when that cooler, slightly more unsettled weather pushes its way southwards, well, it's just not there at the moment. But we'll have more on the weekend forecast in our weekend weather video, which will be on YouTube on Thursday, and we'll have everything covered across social media. Bye-bye.